Oh, this is Seymour Rocks. Um, this is this. I just wanted to do this purely as a kind of heads up. Uh, it's not something that I've been following. I've been completely kind of preoccupied by a um, coronavirus pandemic and the uh, and the uh, social and economic fallout to that. So I'm very, very grateful to my friend Margo, who's kept me up to date on this. And I suggest uh, that you um, uh, go to her site um, to uh, have a look at really what's happening. Uh, so, but at a time when theoretically, you know, the, the, the skies are clear and everything, uh, we seem to be having a very early uh, melt in the Arctic, and uh, there's quite a um, quite a um, a heat wave going on. So I'm just going to briefly show that. Um, I'll share the screen. Uh, okay, so this is uh, today. Uh, this is the temperature uh, anomalies at two meters uh, in the Arctic. You can see all of this around here and the whole of uh, Greenland while the uh, jet stream is coming down and giving very cold temperatures to, um, uh, to parts of North America. Uh, and, but really what is somewhat alarming is um, while they say the world is 0 0.6 degrees above average, uh, the Arctic today is uh, 5.2 degrees above uh, above average. So this is from um, uh, from Sam Karana. Um, and he has measured temperatures in the Arctic Ocean. He says the temperature over parts of the ocean was well over zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, as high as 2.5 centigrade or 36.5 degrees Fahrenheit at the Green Circle on April the 20th. That's yesterday. Uh, yeah, so does that. And um, the uh, CO2 readings are not coming down in the way that one uh, might have imagined. Uh, I saw it had gone up to 4.7, I think about a week ago. It sucked down to 4.16.35. So that's an indication to me that uh, we're getting CO2 emissions that are due to um, uh, to positive uh, reinforcing, uh, rather than you know from net, you know man-made activity. We've we've tipped over, and we're no longer having CO2 coming purely from that, but also from everything else that's happening in the environment, such as. Um, uh, wildfires and the like. So, ah, uh, oh, okay, there was more than that. So, uh, I'm going to come to this because this says a lot. Uh, I'm not doing this kind of on a for this uh, on, a, on a daily basis, but I did have a peek today. And this was how it looked on the, uh, oh, that's the 12th of April, 2019. Well, that's roughly kind of, um, so, but contrast that with this. Uh, that is actually, uh, despite what it says, uh, I think that's uh, 2020. So let's just, and, uh, let's just uh, make sure. And yeah, 2020, and we'll bring that up to date. Uh, 
So I'm just gonna, yeah, so that's, that's what it looks like uh, now. And uh, that's how it looked before uh, in 2020. So and we'll just go back to uh, compare that with that. And that's how it looked uh, this time uh, last year. So, um, yeah, I just want to, Sam Karana has produced a fairly major uh, article here. I won't go through it. I will, uh, Margot's done an excellent video on it and I will provide the links to the article uh, itself. But this came out on the 14th of April. So that's, uh, uh, that's basically it for me, a very uh, sort of confused kind of heads up. Um, but it's amazing to see that so early, well, before the melt season, really, I think, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I'll sign off now. Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.